Today is a very busy day for me and I'm waking up very early to get ready. I've just showered and here comes the most unproductive time of my day, choosing what to wear. And I have a shoot today so I am supposed to bring additional clothes to work and the top need to match the bottom and the bottom need to match with my shoe so it's really troublesome. See my wardrobe, mostly in black colours. Because black is easy to match, right? <laughs> I'm wearing this shoe almost every day right now because let me show you guys something very embarrassing. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Who did this? Hmm? Is it you? Is it you? for watching this video some of you you may have already seen me or watched my videos on another youtube channel called cafe money and so i thought i want to start this channel here to talk a little bit more about my personal life my work businesses uh, investment and whatever so if you guys like to watch what's going on in my life subscribe okay so today is going to be a very a uh, busy and productive day for me. Get to follow me today and see what I do. So my team is downstairs. I have a day packed fully with meetings and a uh, video shoot later. Hello. Hi. What are we doing today? We are going to film cafe money. We are going for lunch right now. I'm following you. This is what I do every day. I follow behind Benny. Oh my gosh, this is exactly my view every day. I'm just following behind. <laughs> So I'm going to share with you two tips on how you keep yourself productive throughout the whole day. So tip number one is to be very focused when you set aside a certain time to complete a certain task. Right? I think this will help you stay very focused and you won't get distracted. Although, you know, a lot of the times I get scolded by Benny for being very distracted when I'm doing certain things. But I'm trying my best uh, to stay focused when I'm given a certain task. I think it helps a lot so that, you know, once that time is out, you are done with the task, right? You can really move on to the next thing in line and you don't have to keep thinking about, you know, what are the things I need to do. So, yeah, staying focused. And as you guys can see right now, I'm actually at uh, the Cafe Money set. So later we will be shooting Cafe Money podcast and I have about um, 30 minutes left for myself to prepare the pointers that I'm going to talk about during the podcast. Here's some behind the scene for Cafe Money before we start the shoot. I have Hong Hui here. Hello Hong Hui. Okay, so we are going to shoot Cafe Money very soon and if you guys have ever watched Cafe Money, you will realize that when we are seated down, I'm actually the same height as the guys. But actually, let's look at our height difference. This is Benny and this is me. I'm actually very short. So in order for me to sit like almost the same height as them, I need to put like two cushions on my chair. Uh, 
<laughs> there you go. That's it. Hey, sit down, sit down. <laughs> like that. <laughs> so does it become the, the same height? Yes, about the same height. Same? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, look at what I'm wearing right now. Here. Hi. Look at all of us. <laughs> Do we look like we are wearing uniform? <laughs> Cool. Cafe Money T-shirt coming up soon. I just done with uh, shooting Cafe Money podcast, and we are here to. I am here. Need to do a thumbnail. See this very bright. See this very bright. They are all done, the two of them, so it's not my turn. Done with all the cafe money stuff. Mm. I need to check my phone later. Lots of messages in the phone. Um, yep, the part and the day. Okay, it's the end of my work day, kind of. It's about 7 pm right now, and I am going to head home. And yes, I'm going back home to continue with some stuff. I'm home. Productive tip number two, and that is to stop procrastination, meaning to stop telling yourself to wait and wait and giving up yourself excuses to do what you need to do until later. Okay, or even let's say if you have something you want to learn, you want to pick up, you keep telling yourself, I will do it the next time. Catch yourself whenever you have this. Uh, procrastination mindset and stop yourself from doing it and I, I know that to stop procrastina procrastination right it seems easier to be said than done I mean there are many 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 occasions where I procrastinated on the things especially on things that I don't feel like doing but at the same time I feel that to stop procrastination it can be as easy as you know just changing your mindset over here you know all you need to do is to just switch and tell yourself, you know what, I really need to get up and do this something that I really want to do, okay? Um, so, one of these things is, you know, I have been wanting to learn keyboard for a very, very long time and I have been putting it off at the back of my mind, telling myself, you know, I'm so busy, there's no way I can find time to learn something and pick up something new. But recently, I decided, you know what, I don't want to wait anymore. Um, if I want to learn, I better learn a new skill right now right rather than to wait for one more when maybe i can't see clearly anymore and i can't see the read the score properly so anyway i decided to engage a teacher and today is supposed to have my second keyboard lesson but she can't make it so later i'll be spending some time on the keyboard to practice but before that i will probably be going downstairs to my void deck to practice my skate i haven't been practicing for a while and a lot of the time I tell myself that uh, if I procrastinate I will actually end up feeling more stressed because there's this thing that I need to do and it's at the back of my mind boggling me and if I don't get it done I can't really enjoy what I am doing right now so maybe you can use that to help yourself as well to stop the procrastination Okay, and to give you guys an additional tip, improve your productivity would be 
this to jot down notes i just uh, remember this when i saw this on beside my bed so every day before i sleep i like to think about what are the tasks and plans that i have for the next day and i like to jot it down on a piece of paper or on my handphone okay so that when i wake up the next day i'm very clear of what i need to get done in the whole day and this will make my entire day become very purposeful and intentful because i don't go about the, the whole day trying to figure out oh yeah today what am i supposed to do what am i supposed to do later at what time and so on and so forth i wake up every single morning having a very clear idea what's next in my schedule so i hope that helps you